Jacobs know. It is time we told it ourselves. With hammer and axe, we cleanse the world from the shadow of the ring and its master. Yet we dwarves celebrate as a scattered people, cut off from our one true home. Across Middle-earth, we mine and sculpt, delving for riches, yet the greatest treasure remains out of our reach. Moria. Dorin built it before the first sun rose, and through the ages, when darkness threatened our great kingdom, he awoke to lead us again. Until the Balrog took it all away. That was a thousand years ago. And Durin, Durin the Deathless has not returned. Some say, be patient. I say, we wait no longer. It is time to journey from every mountain. Come, rally together. Bring your axes and tools, craft and courage. It is time we dwarves return. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my first episode streaming The Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. Um, hopefully this will be a lot of fun. I have already gone into and kind of started um, the initial story. Um, I'm playing in what's called the sandbox mode, just kind of on my own for right now to get it started. Um, I've got a dwarf that I've named Pickle. I haven't made any modifications to him. He's kind of like he is. And we're just going to kind of roll with that, play in the offline mode for now. This is just the first soiree into this, so um, don't know where this is going to go. But so far, this game seems really, really cool. Um, I have already died several times. I'm trying to figure out how to get to and create my um, encampment so that I could do a bed roll and actually rest. Um, I'm in a really, really bad area for the most part. Um, it is just about nighttime in the game. So there's a good bit of dangers associated with this. Because the goblins and creatures and wargs that are running around in here seem to be able to kill me fairly easily. Um, I've dropped a, a good deal of equipment. Oh, look, look, look. Nope, I thought that was a goblin crouching down right there, but it's not. My inventory is apparently full already. So what I think I might do is venture back to where I came from. And uh, maybe try to find a safe place to store some things. I can carry everything back and forth. No, I came out of some area over here. That's meat.
I think that's where Yeah, I don't know if this is a, a good area or not. I, I get I'm very turned around as far as the map goes. Okay, so it should be right here. I hope. Nope. Yeah, this this place is extremely dark. That doesn't seem to be Oh, nope, I need I need this This is another area I hadn't explored yet. So we'll see what comes out of this. My luck, look, you see, look, they're gonna kill me. gonna kill me okay so I need to craft I gotta craft a new So I told y'all, and now I'm nearly dead. Now I'm nearly dead, so that's gonna be even, uh, so I need iron ingots to rebuild that. That's wood scraps, wood scraps. Yeah, I'm gonna end up getting killed. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. Can't sleep on that, it won't let me. See, I'm, I need to get to a place where I can rest. Because if I could, I wouldn't end up dying. But there's no way to recover my health. I can eat to not be hungry, but that doesn't recover all of your health. So it's a... Uh, That's just how it is. Oh Lord, now another one. That's a warg. I don't think that's just a wolf. Oh, there's two of them. They're gonna kill me, I'm dead. See 
what I mean? This thing is really, really tough. Super tough. Oh, and look, look, look. Now they got, oh, they got help coming. I'm just in a dangerous, dangerous area. Now, here's what happens. Because I don't have an encampment yet, okay? I have to... It's gonna when I hit E to go and, to, and reawaken, it's gonna take me all the way back to the beginning. I have to run all the way back out here through those goblins and those that wolf with no equipment and no resources to pick up my equipment that sits right here. So you, I really gotta figure out how to do the encampment somewhere, and you just have to run across it in game. It's just the way this thing works. So I, it's just, it's really, really, really um, a, a tough situation to be in. Super, super tough. Make sure I am... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am live and streaming and everything's looking good and nobody in chat, but that's okay. This is a new game, new things. I don't expect a huge following just yet. We'll have to play this by ear as it goes. So I hit E. Takes me all the way back to the beginning and it tells me I am 209 yards from my equipment. And what I need to do is pick up some wood scraps and then I can craft a torch because without light, my, my, um, You get depressed. You have to keep track of all that. You literally have to keep track of all that. And I also learned I can't pick up any equipment because I'm not, I'm, all the extra stuff that I'm seeing, you need crafting materials, but I gotta be able to have a place to store all of that and get it out of my inventory. If I pick all of that up right now, I won't be able to pick up all my equipment from my character that's dead. Cause it like puts a chest that sits there and I've got to get, be able to go pick up that chest. And if I run across any wargs, wolves, or um, any of those any of those creatures, they will kill me. I'm also gonna need food. See, they're watching my body over there. Look, it's going to be extremely hard to get over there. Super challenging. I'm telling you, it's, it is like super, super challenging. See, there's one over there. There's one right there. And I don't know where those two goblins came from. They're liable to sneak up behind me.
I'm just gonna have to make a run. I'm gonna have to run for it. And as you run, you get fatigued, which means I'm gonna need to eat. He's still coming. And I don't have an ax. I can't fight him. Oh shit, I'm stuck. He's gonna kill me. They don't stop coming after you. I need a better weapon for this. He's gonna kill me. I knew that <laughs> it's tough I don't know how I'm gonna work through this I really don't it's now I've got equipment in two different places I can't kill the dude now he's gonna be guarding he's gonna be guarding that that equipment now If I can run across some metal scraps, I probably can fix another ax and at least be able to fight. That's one set. Nope, I don't have enough. I still need cloth scraps. I have enough metal, I need cloth. Metal cloth now. Okay. Okay, now I can stand a chance, maybe. No, that pit's not deep. I was able to get, I was able to survive getting into the bottom of it. I fell in it earlier. I guarantee you that warg is still gonna be there. Yeah, I probably need to pay attention. I 
All right, we'll go with that for right now. Now, I'll still have to come back and figure out how to pick this up later. Nope, where's that? Oh, Lord, I don't even remember. I have no idea. I think I dug through here. I think this is where I was trying to get away from earlier. It is, I'm like 10 kinds of mixed up. You see, they're spying on me. They know where I'm at. The thing is, is I don't know where the encampment is and I've got to find it to be able to survive. Well, you see, I'm gonna, I have to, Let's see, what do I need? All right, that one's empty. Maybe I can pick up most of this now. Oh, thank God. Where was my whole oh shit? See now, the whole dinner's gone. Did 
See, I, I don't even remember now. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. You stupid idiot. Okay, that'll help. Maybe. Where's the backpack that I, I it sounds so turned around. I don't even know where my, my backpack that I had. There it is. Okay. Okay. All right. We're good. Oh, and look, I'm hungry. Okay, so how do I put the pack down? Gotta eat. The thing about this game that I've noticed is there's no tutorial to teach you how to do certain things. You literally do have to figure it out. A translation, I'm screwed. All right, how do you put the thing down? Got to figure out how do you put down a carried item? Don't see how to put an item down. That's Is that the only way to throw it?
How do I throw an item? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I do not. This is hard as hell. Okay, there we go. Now, I have no idea how I will ever find that again, but it's there. Oh, it's there. And there's no way to mark the count the screen or anything. So I, I may never come back to that. I wish it would mark that on the map so that I know I've got items there. That would be uh, helpful. There's rats. I guess that didn't do anything.
Man, this is just wicked. I, I love the game. I really do. It's a. Uh, it's just gonna. It's gonna be a challenge to learn how to play it. Because uh, so far, I, I think it's fantastic. I love dwarves. I love Lord of the Rings. And I'm sure those goblins that were there are going to alert someone that I'm here. Oh well. That was stupid once again. They hit the wrong key. Oh no. Dorin, what is wrong with it? I've never seen rooms with such shadow. No wonder we couldn't get it open from the other side. <coughs> the doors of Dorin, what is wrong with it? <coughs> I've never seen rooms with now that I'm here, I'm just going to take a short break to go grab supper. I will be back in a minute. Be right back.
Hey, I'm back, Trill. Yes, this is a multiplayer game. You can create a game instance and fellow players can join and play together. So yes, um, turning my camera off for a moment because I do not want to eat on camera. I am eating supper here. Well, I can turn off the camera, eat a bite, and still talk if anyone else possibly joins us. If not, you and I'll chat. We always do. Heck, I can even jump in uh, in Discord, and we could just uh, voice chat if you wish. I don't have a problem with that. You can ask whatever questions you want to ask there. But, uh, yeah, you can do a multiplayer on this. And there's also like a campaign version. There's a couple of different things. I don't know everything about them yet. I'm just learning as I go. So because I found this gate, that was one of the, um, quests I was supposed to complete. Okay, why am I dying? Oh. Oh my God. You gotta stay in the light. <laughs> Now that now that I found the gates of Moria, the doors, my next step now, according to this, is I have to face the long dark of Moria. I have to journey east to the Dimral Gate. The doors of Durin are blocked by the shadow. Our only hope is that the eastern exit, the Dimral Gate, is still open. And I have yet to figure out how to do a bedroll. Which is gonna be essential. I've got to get a bedroll so that I can rest and sleep. There's a couple of YouTube videos on it, but can't do those while I'm playing. Okay, so the Dimral Gate is whoo, super far away. In fact, I think what I'm gonna do is I wanna change No, not the key mapping. I want to lock the mini map to the north. So there's the Dimral Gate. That's my location. That's that's our goal. That's pretty far away.
there's no telling what we're going to have to face. Aftermath is the first thing, and we didn't even We definitely gonna avoid Orktown. I didn't even finish Aftermath. What's Aftermath? But I don't have a way to sleep. I don't have a bedroll. Interesting. If you want to jump in chat, Trill, let me know. <clears throat> Turn my camera back on shortly. Just finishing up my supper. Apparently making a mess while I do so. I can't take that boy anywhere. My uh, Orch is probably about to run out again, but I'll be back in one second. I just need to throw some trash. All right. I don't know how to increase my inventory space, but I definitely need to learn how to do a bedroll. 
I'll probably have to mute in-game audio for a minute. So that I can figure it out. It's set to look, but it didn't do anything. It said press E to look, I did, but it didn't tell me anything. I'm wondering what happened. Okay. I don't have the ability to make a bedroll yet. And apparently if I'm going to craft a new axe, I'm going to need a few resources. So I do need to pick up metal fragments. I still need some more metal fragments. I need wood. Because my torch is going to go out. Okay, now we're in good shape. Okay. Okay, we just went on a big old rigmarole right there. Damn, that's a tall dude. That's not a dwarf. Ooh, good, we need some food, we need some food. The mushrooms are going to keep us alive. <clears throat> I'm, I think I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to at least mute the audio just briefly so that I can go ahead and play the YouTube video and not get a copyright infringement violation. Okay, let me mute the audio briefly. Won't be long.
I can still talk, so that should have turned off the... No, it didn't. That'll mute it. So I can still talk. Let me see um, how to do a bed roll. Okay, so the raven didn't pop up for me. So that's a thing. So, according to what I just read, I need to go back because I didn't the raven never talked to me. I never got the raven. So I don't know if that's changed from the past. I honestly don't know. Okay, I didn't pay attention. Yeah, but he's not there for me. That's the problem. That raven never appeared for me. See, those are beds up there. I should be able to sleep. No, they're not made beds, so. <clears throat>
I can't I can't build a ladder. Of course, I'm almost dead. I've got to figure out how to do this bedroll thing. I don't know why it skipped that part. Okay. The raven should have appeared right there. And the raven doesn't appear to me, which I hadn't figured out why. You see, I cannot sleep on that bed. That's a fully made bed, good to go. And I'm not smart enough for it. Oh, crap.
Great. Now I'm nearly dead. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm dead. And it's going to take me forever to get back right here. How far away am I? Where's my, where, where's my dead body? Well, that's not super bad. I need cloth. Nope, I need cloth. You start can fight now. Oh, I don't know how long I'm going to deal with this tonight. It is fun, but Jesus. Oh shit. I don't have much defense either. Because I'm not wearing anything. And I don't have any food. I can't be expending much energy like that.
I hate when they do that. Let's see. Well, it says I have four viewers, but it's only showing trilogy, so I don't know. All good, though. Anyone hanging out? I definitely appreciate it. I'm just working through trying to figure this game out. And I'm, it may not be coming across that way 100%, but I am thrilled and having a blast right now. I really enjoy the challenge. So apparently this used to be a uh, See, they're going to send more. The little spies are out there. That didn't do him anything. What happened to all my, oh, my mushrooms. Okay, they're there. <laughs> yeah, for some reason you have a morbid fascination with watching me die. Well, that's a strange one. But uh, yeah, if you want to jump in uh, Discord, let me know. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ah! 
I heard him coming. This game is extremely tough. It is like mind numbingly difficult for me. I'm definitely going to have to get adjusted to the style of gameplay. I love it. I absolutely love it. Don't get me wrong. I really, truly do. But uh, driving me crazy. I'm dying like nobody's business. <laughs> Making me nuts. Probably stream for just a little bit more before I uh, drop it for the evening. I do have to get ready for work tomorrow. That is a reality that's coming up. But I'm, I'm telling you, I really, I'm frustrated because of the uh, amount of deaths, but it's a ton of fun trying to figure this thing out. I love exploring Moria, especially as a dwarf. I'm having a blast with this. I'll upload this to my um, YouTube channel after I'm done streaming today. Unfortunately, um, it's not going to be very good or entertaining because I suck at it right now, but I am in a learning mode for this particular game. So, And this is just a test run with a temporary type character. I'm only, I did this kind of like on a solo mode. Well, there's gonna those trust me those damn goblins are gonna come back
Hmm. Maybe I ought to leave well enough alone and call it right there. And save the goodies for another day. Maybe I can figure out a little bit more of the gameplay offline. I hear footsteps. Y'all may not hear them, but I do. Oh, crap. There they are. They're coming after me. I may die again. Here we go. I knew I heard him coming. Damn scruffy little beggars. All right, I think I'm gonna call it right there for this stream for tonight. Um, I hope everyone's had a great uh, weekend. Hope you'll have a great work week, stay safe. You know, all, all that good stuff, I really mean it. Enjoy life. Tell your loved ones that you love them. And let them know that you care. And we will hopefully do this again really, really soon when I learn this game just a little bit better. Thank y'all, and I hope you'll have a great weekend. Appreciate it.